Ever wondered how SpaceX's Starship manages to lift 7.5 million pounds of raw thrust off the pad? The secret lies inside its two massive propellant tanks, one for methane and one for liquid oxygen. But they don't just hold fuel, they control the entire heartbeat of the rocket. Inside that shiny stainless steel shell, Starship carries over 1,200 tons of propellant. The upper tank holds super cold liquid methane, while the lower one stores liquid oxygen, better known as LOX. And separating them, a single steel dome thinner than a coin, holding back unimaginable pressure. When those 33 Raptor engines ignite, methane and oxygen rush down through feed lines and meet in the combustion chamber at pressures over 300 bar. That's more than 10 times the pressure inside a Formula One engine. The result? Controlled chaos that launches the world's most powerful rocket. But here's where it gets really smart. Both tanks drain in perfect sync. If the ratio is even slightly off, the engines could choke, freeze, or explode. To prevent that, SpaceX built an autogenous pressurization system, meaning the fuel pressurizes itself using its own vapor. No helium, no extra tanks, just pure efficiency. And that frost you see forming on Starship during launch? That's not just condensation. It's a sign the methane tank is coming to life, chilling at minus 161 degrees Celsius, working in harmony with the minus 183 degree oxygen tank below. Together, they form the ultimate cold duo that makes Starship reusable, efficient, and ready for Mars. But here's the twist. Why did SpaceX choose methane when almost every rocket before Starship used kerosene or hydrogen? The reason goes beyond Earth. It's about refueling on Mars. That's right, methane can be created there using Martian resources. This means one day a starship could land, refuel, and fly back home without a single drop of Earth fuel. If you want to see how that's even possible, I've broken down this entire system from tank design to Mars refueling in my full-length deep dive video linked below. So, if you love deep space tech and rocketry explained simply, hit that like button, subscribe to our rocketry channel, and follow us on Facebook for daily space updates. Because this isn't just about rockets, it's about the next leap.